Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I know I'm I'm lazy, okay? I'm really lazy, all right? Can't judge me. Y'all are lazy too. Anyway, we're on this beautiful son of a bitch. Oh my god, the Dillo. It's it, it's like one of the best creatures the Isle has ever made. Oh, look at those eyes. Those are just creepy. I love it. The creepier the dino, the more I love it. Alright, so. I'm on the Isle uh, V2 map with... Well, the server that I'm on is New York Official 2. So the second official server. It's pretty crowded. It's pretty dangerous. From the rumors I have heard from my from the other people that I play with, there is a mega m mega pack that works through Discord together to bring down other players. And basically the rule is if you're not in this Discord group with them, your food and, well, I'm not. In fact, I'm going Carno because what these guys are doing is they're basically raising herbivores, killing them, and then raising their babies with, with these herbivore corpses that are, that, that these herbivores are with them in their group. And, you know what? Me and my buddy Winterworm, we're going Carnos so that we can go baby hunting. Nice. And it's, it, it certainly is going to be interesting. I have a replay to show you um, once we're done here, uh, seeing how far I can get. Those are my progression points. There's a video I want to show you about a galley chase. Oh man. Okay. The galley may be one of the suckiest herbivores and probably the cheapest end game herbivores that you can get, but it's fast. And that's what I like about it. It's so fast. It's so good. Nothing can catch you unless it ambushes you. Now, I, me playing the galley, I was chased by a Carno, and this Carno nearly got me too. It got so close. It was right on my tail. But I would, I would just kept on running. It was, oh my gosh, I my heart hadn't pounded like that in months. Oh jeez, OBS, if you cause me to lag out, and yes, you can see my ping. So I'm probably not going to be doing min much hunting. Probably going to be doing scavenging. Now we are approaching this lake. Which means i got to keep a watchful eye out on the trees. If I can get an Ava, that would be nice. Although I think Avas are pretty tough. I played as one. I, I never really did any combat with the Neva, but I'm an inexperienced Dillo, and I need my first. Is a first for everything. Maybe I'll just nibble on a Velociraptor, because I do not like how low my health is getting. Is that a corpse? Is that a corpse, or is that alive? Can you guys tell? It's right in front of me. You know what? I'm going to sneak up on it anyway. Because the only meaning my life has is baby hunting. Now, these guys could not even... If these guys are real players and they're not dead, then I could be sorely mistaken. Like, not everyone on this server is the baby-making mega herd. Or mega pack. Or whatever you want to do it. The Discord group that runs the server. 
pretty much. <gasps> nope, they're bodies. Happy day. Now since the Dillo has like the longest eating animation, I'm gonna have to make this quick. A Rex could have easily made this kill. Or these could be farmed. Because they're two trikes? Well, no, wait. It's a mother and a baby. So this could have been a member of the anti-discord group, Resistance. We are the Resistance. And oh my gosh, okay, cool story to tell. Yesterday, as I was logging off, I was hanging out with a Carno, you know? The Carno was friendly because we were like brothers of the same blood. Because, well, I w I'm gonna progress into Carno anyway. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, glitchy birds. Glitchy birds everywhere! Drax Xerius, what's up, dude? Oh jeez, the rubber banding I am feeling is is hell. I don't want to stick around a trike kill because if you know what killed the trike, it was probably actually you know what I think the most likely creature to kill a trike is a giga. I mean, trike has humongously raw damage, and it doesn't take that many hits for a giga to stack up the bleed on a trike. Or at least that's what I'd imagine. I know the Rex does the most raw damage out of any of the carnivores. But... The Giga does the most raw bleed. And... Raw. What? I guess this is now WWE and we're stacking up our opponents. <laughs> uh, and the Spino has the most health. Which is uh, acceptable because, you know, Spino is, is technically the biggest carnivorous dinosaur that we know of. It may not have been the tallest. Well... It was probably the tallest because of its sail, but Spino is definitely the biggest. Oh no, oh no, I can already feel the debate between Spino and T-Rex coming on. Nope, don't do it. In the comments, don't you dare. I don't want to hear it. I've heard it enough from other people. I know my place in the argument between Spino and T-Rex. I don't even know where I'm headed. I'm just wandering, looking for corpses to scavenge, or maybe even that Ava that continuously... Oh. Oh, why is this cliff here? That's very inconvenient. Oh, and I think this Discord group runs Spawn Lake. So I'm going to stay away from Spawn Lake. Oh, I'm here! I'm at the big waterfall, not the aqueduct. Oh, hello, little Velo. How are you? Oh, shoot, dude. I just wanna get your water, dude. I'm not interested in your Ava, buddy. Hmm. That was pretty neat. Show no fear. Herbivores, well, any herbivore that 
is not sticking around carnivores or buddy buddying with carnivores is a member of that resistance group I'm talking about. Ah, oh, dude, look at that swimming animation. It's so smooth. I definitely feel like the Dillo should swim faster than this. I am Le Crocodile. I'm going to sneak up on you. Of course, anyone can see this wiggly tail and these glorious crests. I don't know much for updates on the aisle, so don't expect that this channel has updates for the aisle. Man, I just play it. The aisle is a fun game, if you're willing to put in the time for progression. Ugh. Oh, and then there's the debate between progression and sandbox. Everyone, well, well, okay, everyone used to hate progression, like, no, you took us away as our, our our dinosaurs from us. Why? Now we can only play as the shitty dinos. Well, that has changed. A lot of people have come to accept progression over time, and many people actually prefer it. I mean, I prefer progression over sandbox because progression gives me the feeling that every dinosaur I reach or that I earn is something that I worked hard for and it's fun it's it's the risk it's yeah it, it, it's that excitement of the risk like okay I'm I have to go hunting now who am I gonna pick what's gonna be worth the risk and am I going to take that risk in order to keep this dino alive You, you see where I'm coming from? It's it's that whole aspect of this game, the survival aspect, that is really made real with the progression system. And it's like, if you die, you gotta start over, man. And I do not plan on starting over. Now, yes, there is rage when it comes to starting over. Oh boy, I would know. I would know. One time I was a Suko. I had made it all the way to Suko. And oh my gosh, it was so amazing. I was an amazing Suko. I was so happy. All I needed to do is stay away from the other apexes and and kill smaller herbivores like Diablos and I would be a Spino in no time. And yet, and yet, I met another Spino, and apparently we were like, buddy buddy. And uh, we went hunting together, this big herd. We were going to try and pick off some of the herbivores from the back. And apparently, he accidentally bit me once, and that's all it took. I was done for. Actually, I think he might have bitten me twice. I don't know. But this whole weight system, where the bigger you are, the more damage you deal to smaller creatures, that's that, that, that's a little broken. I don't think that one bite from a Spino would kill a Suko. It also has to be, along with this weight class system, there also has to be something like what Saurion has done. Or there are specific areas of your enemy that you have to bite in order to do more damage. Like the neck. The neck would be pretty much a one-shot for Suko v. Spino. And yet, and yet, the Isle doesn't have some... Oh shit, I'm at Spawn Lake. I did not realize I'm at Spawn Lake. I'm gonna go into these bushes. Oh man. The Dillo gets so low. Ah, crap. This is a bad hiding spot. Oh, there we go. Now I'm invisible. Oh! And based on my personal experience, I 
Oh. Oh, why, hello there, little Astros. Does one of you wish to become my next meal? I don't want to say that I'm evil or that I KOS. Or that I used a friendly call to lure in potential meals. Every Ostro is the enemy of all of all things. I don't even know what that call is. You know what? I can't see him. They probably scampered off. Oh well. I think I want to head over to the aqueduct. See if there's any small herbivores there that I can nom on. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't even know how the Dillo would stack up against a Utah. Utahs are scary, man. Not as a berry, though. Berry will KO a... will completely destroy Utahs. One bite and the Utah is dead. Yes, you'll get away, probably, but you'll bleed out. Trust me. It, it it happened. In fact, it happened right here at Spawn Lake. I was the Utah, and there were berries, and I got bitten, like, around here somewhere? No, I was bitten down there. And I ran up here, and I went up that... up that mountain. Oh, why, hello, Mr. Utah! How are you doing? Yeah, it's right. Scamper off, bugger. I ain't got no beef with you. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> oh shit, aloe. Um, I don't trust him. Peace out. I ain't got no beef with you. Just leave me alone. Okay, that actually got my heart pounding. I didn't even know that that aloe was there. <laughs> he could have easily killed me, but apparently... My confidence shone through. I just walked right on by, and I psyched him out. Just look at me. I'm beautiful. And wow, I really was bigger than the Utah. Maybe I can kill Utahs. I don't know. If you guys know on how the Dillo stacks up against a Utah, please let me know. Whether I can take him on or not. I think I'm going to head through the mountain cave. And I think it's around this way. I will not lie, my heart is pounding from that encounter. <laughs> Getting ready to fight or flight. Sneaky hill. What? Okay. I call bullshit. Just hide in the bushes. God dang it, that's seven minutes of my life wasted. <laughs> you, you, you guys saw I walked down and it was fine and... Oh my god. Alright. I got cocky. I won't lie. Maybe I'll get back on my galley if I can't find any food. You know what? I might also be walking into a death trap. I could be walking right into the to the maw of the beast, going to Aqueduct. Cause I don't know. There's very little food there. Herbivores don't normally go over there, and and with the recent 
uh, problem that's going on. Uh, progression plants don't give pro progression points, which makes herbivore progression infinitely harder. And uh, that's why there aren't so many herbivores anymore. Carnivores have basically taken over this server. And I'm not helping that problem. <laughs> I will be helping the problem when I become the Austro killing machine. That is the Carno. Aw, oh, jeez. I got so hurt just from a little fall. Y you know, you think that the Dillo would just step down that little cliff, but no, no, it's not going to step down, it's going to glitch and fall. It, it, it's... This is my beef with the leg break thing. Yes, I know, they're extremely heavy. And they would break their legs if they even fall a centimeter. However, don't you think that they would be able to step down? Just like, you know, take a big step down? Yeah. Yeah. I have. I have some beef. You know what? I probably should have. No, too glitchy. I'm 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 too laggy to take on a Utah. Probably should have killed that Utah when I had the chance. Ah, oh, hey, look at that. My leg is fixed by the magic of video game logic. Jeez, I walked straight through the lion's den at Spawn Lake. Those aloes could have taken me out, and I would have stood no chance. Or that aloe, that aloe and that Utah working together. Oh, happy days that they didn't know that I was... What is that? You know, I can't see. Uh, all right, this is acceptable. It's not too blinding. Actually, it's it's really really blinding. I'm not gonna do that now. Um, the cave to the lake should be right up here. In fact, I think that this is also... Ooh, I checked a recording that I made with T. And Rexes apparently nest in this cave. And I really hope that I'm not walking to my death. <laughs> Well, wait, there is a way that we can find out by looking at these, by looking at footprints and those scratch marks along the cave. Okay, now is appropriate for night vision. Night vision's not so bad in the cave. But it gets really bad outside. Ugh. So ugly. Oh, here's a trick, guys. If you're playing carnivore and you want to find people. I know this is super cheaty. But turn your shadows to low. And then use night vision. <laughs> Using the combination of turning your shadows on low and night vision really helps you to see better. Especially in the pitch black that is the dense forest that I wandered through as an Ava and broke my leg.
Oh my god, there's a pew. It probably suicided, and it's probably not even... It's probably not even edible. Oh jeez, look at that. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's not edible. Apparently there's this glitch where pew bodies aren't edible if they fall. If they fall to their death. Which is complete and utter bullshit. Pew? The, the... Okay, if you're trying to farm pews, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. The pew has so much food on it, you'd need to get together like a humongous pack just to make just to make use of it. And the amount of time it takes to get to a pew on an official server, dude, that's a nightmare. Oh, heck no. I will do it, though, if I'm nested as a chant. Which, the only shant that I knew, was killed. So, that's completely out of the question. Because, one progression point a minute? It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it unless you're you're gonna take on an army of Rexes. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. What's up with these plants? I thought that these plants were edible, but apparently not. I tried eating them as as a packy, and and it and it just doesn't work. It's stupid. Also, the galley only being able to eat flowers? What the fuck? That doesn't make any dang sense. Oh, and another topic I'd like to touch on is the V3 map. None of the plants are edible for small herbivores. Like the Oreo and the Taco, I tried playing as both on the V3 map, the official one, and I couldn't get a nibble anywhere. I searched and I searched and I couldn't find any. Okay, either that is a person who fell, like that pew over there. That, that pew I saw in my last recording. You know what? I'm going in. I don't want my hunger to ever drop below a half. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, I sure do hope that there isn't a Rex around here. Oh my god, and they're all in the middle of the lake. Wait, I think I can just walk out to it. Look around. I'm not taking any chances. This is most clearly... Wait, this is a Rex. <laughs> Coming to Aqueduct was a good call on my part. As long as I stay hidden, I'll be good. You know what? Night vision activate. Okay, if the animation is going to be this long, then I might as well get get two bites in. Isle devs, fix your game. 
<laughs> oh, I like riffing on devs. It's funny because I have no place in ripping on them. Since I'm not... Oh, oh wow, you can really see the eyeball of the Dillo. Oh my god, that is so creepy. The Dillo has to be one of the creepiest dinos yet in the game. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, I know. I know. Oh my god, I have the best idea ever. Okay, okay, hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, so you know how I'm using low shadows so I can see at nighttime? Well, what if people who use low shadows have glowing eyes? So that way, if the person who's using low shadows is trying to sneak up on you because they're using low shadows, you should be able to see the shining of their eyes. Which, me, I don't have a problem with that at all. If they're going to be just as visible to you, you might as well be just as visible to them. Or at least, they should have a chance of seeing you. Because people who play with high quality shadows, I have respect for because... Well, they're just playing the way that the game looks beautiful. With low shadows, it doesn't look that good. Good? What? Now grud is just coming out of my mouth. Alright, how many points did I rack up? 53. Nice. About 30. You guys saw that the amount I had when I first started recording. I forgot. Who cares? I think I'm just gonna log out here. Because I think that this recording is going on for long enough. This was a pretty eventful day, if I do say so myself. I'm going to log out and I'm going to show you that awesome recording. Uh, sadly, I still don't know how to edit videos. Just complete crap. I need to find a, a cheap, at least, at, at least cheap video editing software where I can make cuts in the video, snap, snip parts of it out, and put things together again. That way I can make better videos for you guys to enjoy more. Oh, by the way, going into the water up on the aqueduct. Yeah, that's death. You can't get out. I've tried. Well, on a sandbox game, I tried, and... Yeah, it's, it, it's certain death. You can't get out. The only way is to fall down into the lake below. Alright, let's check some replays. I think it was... Um... Demo 9. Yep. And there's ruins. And here is the area that apparently everyone calls the rapids which I have a better name, The Falls. The Falls is just a better name. Okay, so there's the Chinese dude that was harassing us earlier. This was all yesterday, by the way. Um, I just have to find... Oh, there's ruins. Yeah, I know where I am. Here's Pride Rock. Shut up. 
Oh, that's the Carno. Oh, I'm over here. I think I'm like... Yeah, I'm right here. And I think... Okay, I was with my buddy Voltron. Voltron Green Lion. Uh, and he heard a Carno, and he, and he just shouted, run. Oh yeah, there's the Carno. Here he comes. I know what happens to me, so let's follow the Carno. See what the Carno does. Okay, currently he can't see me, I think. He, or at least he doesn't know where I am. He thought I went over there somewhere, so he, I think, yeah. King? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a he. Maybe a she, I don't know. I don't care. You're an item. <laughs> Okay, but I know that I ran over there into those trees. Carno is coming over here. Oh, by the way, this is a great way for you to see and catch people doing stuff. I don't know if he can see Voltron. No. Voltron ran way, way down there. I guess he's the one who spotted the Carno down there, and he's just instructed me, run, just run. Alright, I think I want to catch up on what I'm doing. Yeah, I think, uh, yep, I'm right there. Probably should have stayed there, to be honest. But if I had stayed there... I would not have experienced such a heart-pounding event. Now, I don't know if he actually can see me. Alright, but I come over here. King should be coming in just a few minutes or seconds from this direction because I stopped to eat flowers because I was really really hungry where is he? in fact, wait, aw oh, shit ah, good job Claus, good job Ten out of ten. This is the reason why I I need to learn editing and, and shit. Because of this bull because of this bullcrap. Okay, so I need to head off on over here and then fast forward to where we were. The the chase scene begins at four minutes. Okay, so we're down here at this big area. I'm somewhere over here. You know what, let's just head back over to the flower patch. Oh, wait, Carno is going to be coming Oh, this, this is where Voltron was hiding, over here in the bushes. I had just relogged, so just in case, if I needed to, I would be able to escape. Okay, so here he comes. I don't know if he can... Yeah, but he can see us. 
Yeah, he saw me. And I think Voltron ran that way. Alright, but I dipped out. I was like, all aboard the nope train. Alright. Now that we're here, let's fast forward. Here he is. I'm still hiding. Then he goes over to sit in the bush. Fast forward a little bit more. Uh, let's just go find where I am. There I am. Beautiful galley. Then skip to that, where I'm over by the flowers. Yep, and we're back, right back where we were. Now, King. Yep, there's King. He spotted me and he tries to crouch up on me. Of course, I didn't see him until he started running because I was... Oh yeah, yeah. He almost caught up to me too. Here's the epic chase. Dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da dun 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 Look at how close he got! He was right on my tail. And I was... And I really, I really hit the gas on the nope train. I didn't even look back. I was like, nope, 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 nope. But because I'm a galley and I'm the fastest creature in the game. Now the Carno tried to, okay, the Carno up here tried to cut me off. I thought that there would be a cliff over this hill, so I went around it, but of course the Carno knew that there wasn't, and he, and right here he tries to recharge his, his boost, his ambush, and he does nearly catch up to me again. Here we go, here we go. Instant replay. He nearly catches up to me. And he runs out of stamina because the Carno doesn't have that much stam. And he probably wasted some of it earlier. Yeah, he did. He he did waste it sometime earlier when he was chasing Voltron. Then he tried chasing me. And man, my heart was pounding. I didn't even stop. I just kept going. I was on a quarter of stamina by the time I finally stopped running. I, I, I was so busy running, I didn't even see Spawn Lake. I had no idea where I was. All I knew is I needed to get the hell out of there and hide. Okay, I know what happens to me. I go and I hide in a bush down there. But what about King? Let's see where King is. Nope, that's not you. That's Blade. King. What? Apparently, apparently, oh, there he is. But apparently there are lots of velos everywhere. Okay, this is the exact reason why I was shouting at Voltron to not come out. He came from around that way and went into those trees. But dude, the Carno is so dangerous. Anything that's smaller and slower than the Carno is fair game. Eva's 
Diablos. I don't know about Diablo though. I, I took out a Diablo really easily with a berry. All it takes is like two shots to end a Diablo. And he's searching around in the bushes here because he thinks that I didn't go very far. Of course, he doesn't know how to use footprints. <laughs> so he's just looking around in these bushes, sitting down here. Now, if only there were markers on where the people were. Okay, I'm over here in these bushes. Yep, there I am, right, right here. And there's my tail, there's my head, there's my face. Here I am, I'm just like sitting in here, cowering in fear, because Carnos are damn scary. You know how terrifying that is to being chased by a Carno? Alright, that lasted like four minutes. That is not okay. Alright, but where is Voltron? Because he came over from this direction. Nope, I'm back on me. Is he over here in these bushes? No, he's right here. And he comes over by me. Which we currently... Oh, yep, there's the Carno. And I was like, no, dude, he will see you. And, well, he didn't. So he decides to run on over here. And basically, this is the part where we got away. The Carno can... I, I watched the replay before. And basically, the Carno hangs around Spawn Lake, thinking that we're going to come back. And he, like, goes up in here and hides somewhere waiting for us to return but me and Voltron we go from there back around the mountain again we we fill up on flower power we meet up with cursed soul here who's an Ava and then we together went up here through the cave through the cave here around and over to aqueduct to meet up with our other two friends because you know safety in numbers <sighs> so that's about it thank you guys so much for watching I'm super hungry right now so I'm gonna go eat something probably breakfast I don't know if we're still here or not. No, I think we went elsewhere. Yeah. Oh, Voltron is still going. Alright, but anyway. Oh no, this is me. This is me catching up to Voltron. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, smack that thumbs up button. It will help me out a ton. And if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button and do yourself a favor. Also, if you're feeling hungry like I am, why don't you click that tasty bell notification as well? And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.